Hey guys, what's going on? Dan Meyer here. In this video, we're going to talk about some walleye ice fishing secrets on really what to do when walleyes won't bite. Now, this video is stemming off some questions that I've gotten on my YouTube channel recently where people have been asking what to do when you mark fish, specifically walleyes, and they won't bite. So, this is kind of, this is probably... Uh, you know a situation that all of us can relate to where you're out fishing you're fishing a like a feeding flat for walleyes and you know it's prime time you're expecting the walleyes to push up onto this feeding flat to feed and they do you're marking a ton of fish and they won't bite you um you know you're you're working a jigging wrap you're working a spoon the fish they'll come up for it they leave uh you know they'll come up really stare at it leave maybe they won't even come up off the bottom you'll mark them they'll come in and you can't even get them to raise up off the bottom all they do is leave now this is something that can happen pretty much all winter long but especially you're gonna run into this more the later in the winter that you get to because the fish they just get finicky or they can get finicky uh, during the midwinter so that's something that could start happening here pretty soon so there is something you can do about it so I've kinda got a three-step process uh, what you can do to get a lot of these fish to bite not all of the fish but a lot of them so the first thing to do is you wanna downsize and you wanna use live bait so a really effective bait for catching these walleyes is uh, a fathead minnow on a 1 16th ounce jig just a small little jig like this this one has a long shank a 1 16th ounce jig now for step two the way you want to fish this is not aggressive at all the reason they probably the reason they weren't hitting before it could be your bait but it also could be they want something really subtle so all you're gonna do is pretty much just shake the bait you're just gonna shake that rod tip basically what you when you're shaking it you don't want the the jig to move much you're shaking it enough essentially what you're trying to do is just get that minnow awake and kind of swimming you're not trying to move them in the water column you're just shaking that rod just enough to make sure that minnow is swimming around that that presentation right there will get those finicky walleyes to bite a lot of times now so you're just going to be shaking that minnow, making the minnow swim naturally. It's just a small little bait, something really easy for those finicky walleyes to hit. We're talking walleyes when we're under high pressure, uh, maybe really cold. The fish, they just they, they don't want to feed on a big bait. That's where we got the fathead on the 1 16th ounce jig. So <clears throat> step three now, the final, the final step to getting these things to bite is, you, and this is actually really important, you want to fish the bait close to the bottom. So normally when I'm jigging, if I'm jigging a spoon, a jigging wrap, anything, I'm jigging a foot, two feet, maybe more off the bottom because I want to bring in fish um, from a long distance. So the higher up you get it, the more fish can see it from further away. So, but when they're really finicky, you want to fish right next to the bottom, maybe six inches so you, <clears throat> off the bottom. So you're just going to be quivering that bait right down there right down six inches off the bottom every once in a while you're gonna slowly raise it up and then drop it back down that you know raising it up dropping down that's gonna be bringing it up so the fish off to the side they can see the bait hopefully that brings them in but remember to, you can get these fish to bite because if they're pushing up on a feeding flat they're moving up to feed so you just want to be real subtle just give them something they can't resist a, just a small little bite maybe they don't want a huge meal or they're not going to just chase down this huge bait but they'll take something really small fathead minnow on a 1 16th ounce jig you're not taking it away from them it's just right there they got to hit it you're going to get more bites doing this you're not going to get every fish but you're going to get a lot of them and if they are pushing up onto a feeding flat in numbers you're going to get enough fit uh, enough bites where you can still get your fish so next time it's you know the fish are really finicky it might be hard to do the you know the day the, the first day because you might not have fatheads with you if you do go for it if you expect them to be finicky 
go ahead, go out there with some fat heads. I a lot of times have fat heads with me when I'm going midwinter. So try this to get finicky walleyes to bite, and I will see you guys in the next video.